G'day guys, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. This is part two of our German series and we're just going to continue with where we left off and we're just building up to war. So we'll put it back onto three speed. We're not going to go to war until the 1st of September 1939. So we've got three years still to prepare and we're going to kick off the war by going to war with Poland, which should bring the allies in on their side. So Poland's not going to be a threat and we know we're going to crush them easily. The thing is, and what's so kind of realistic, we want to take the least amount of losses possible. So we want to try and um, bomb them, we want to use our armor divisions and everything, and save our manpower. Because otherwise, if we just waste our manpower, what's going to happen is exactly what happened to Germany in World War II. And they don't have enough manpower. After five years of war, they ran out of manpower and started relying on children to hold the lines. And against Russia, who will have something like 20-something million manpower, if they play it right, we're not going to survive that. No matter how good our equipment is, no matter how good our tech is, we're not going to be able to survive 20 million manpower if we've burnt through our guys and just killed them all. So we'll keep that in mind. It's not going to take too long to get through three years. And we're just going to keep preparing. Uh, what were we doing? We have planes in reserve. I know that. Someone also did say that you're better off not to delete your template for the cav, which I already deleted, and to use that template to make your cav units into military police, which is a really good idea because if we look at it, uh, we'll just go to create a new division. The cav are a mobile battalion, so obviously they're very quick, but because they're a superior unit to your infantry in some ways, they're going to do really well at being military police. You won't need as many Sometimes you need two or three divisions to hold one little tile if it's got a lot of issues for whatever reason. So yeah, maybe you're better off to do that. I mean, maybe you better to go one step further if you've got the supply and use the uh, vehicles. So yeah, it's always a thing. Okay, industrial effort was done. That's going to give us an extra six factories. We're going to do it again to get another six. And we need to start deploying our troops early as well. So even though these guys, why do I have nine, not 10 trained? Not enough equipment to train. So it just decides not to train a division when it doesn't have enough equipment. Great, that's just what I wanted. Um, we're gonna train one mountain division as well. I don't want that. So get rid of the mountain division template and that's gonna give enough supply to the nine divisions. Oh, that shits me up the fucking wall. Um, okay, what we'll do, deploy them early. Uh, then I'm going to delete the template because it says 332. I know I've got OCD. Just deal with it. Alright. Retrain. Uh, do that. Uh, then delete one and then add another five. Alright. And then they can keep going. And then we'll just train one division on his own again. And we're good. Alright. So the reason we're deploying these guys early is we need to start trying to get Austria and Czechoslovakia and stuff. So I just need troops on the ground. So it doesn't matter they're not fully trained, I just need them there. Now these nine divisions we're going to attach to the Netherlands division. And I'll send the extra one over there when he's ready to go. Uh, we're exercising our troops in the south. Uh, looks like we just have one more to do. One more mountain division needs to be trained and then we're good. We can stop wasting our supply training them and start training someone else. And how are we going for factories? What are we doing with our civilian tech? All right, we have three more civilian factories to go and then four military factories. I'm going to add one synthetic refinery to the list and then we want more civilian factories. So let's throw six more into there. So I normally build in my core cities first and then sort of expand out as I need to. Obviously, because if we get attacked and we're not expecting it or if they break through somehow, we lose those factories or until we recapture them. Anyway, we've got plus 13 army experience. I'm just going to let that build up until we go to war and then we'll change our templates. At the moment, we just need troops on the ground. So what we could do, well, what we could actually do is a way to get around that. If we edit our infantry divisions now and add an extra infantry division, uh, I think these are regiments, let's just say regiment, to each one, that'll increase our manpower by a thousand for each one. And I've already got 50 single uh, 50 divisions in total. So that's an extra 50,000 manpower, which is a pretty easy way to get around that. Uh, doctrines, what do we want to do? Let's go with, uh, this helps entrenchment, this helps reinforcement rate, organization. Yeah, let's do that. 
I should probably start doing um, some other research. And our political shit's back up. So what we're going to do, world tension's at 2%, so I can't do any mobilization stuff. Uh, we could increase, do some uh, industrial research or the only other one I normally would do here is silent workforce to get extra political power, which just unlocks all of these a little bit quicker. But I'm just looking, is there a better one to go with? I don't know, is there a better one to go with? I'm going to leave that blank until, well, I could do this one. Helps AA construction speed and stuff. Shit, um, I just did that one by accident. Oh, well, is there a better one that we could have done? Because I screwed that up, but yeah. Let me know, because I'm interested to see people's opinions. There was all that par uh, partisan effect one and stuff like that. Maybe that's a good idea. And what are we waiting on? We're waiting on tanks, infantry equipment, and support equipment for these Panzer divisions. All right, that infantry division can be deployed now. He's good enough. We can finish training them later. Delete that line, and then everyone else is training. Industrial effort two is done. Send him over there. Uh, and then we need to do our next one. We still don't have enough manpower. Jesus. All right, uh, we can do Army Innovations, which will get us down to treaty with the USSR. So we get a peace treaty. Well, not a peace treaty, a non-aggression. Let's do that. And then 15 Army Tradition, Army Experience. Is this done yet? Is this guy trained? Are you trained? Are you trained? You are trained. Okay, awesome. Stop. So any other divisions we add to that now, we'll train them before adding them. These 20 divisions can now train instead. And we should have, because that was 30 and we're only doing 20 now, we should have a bit of extra supply coming in. Um, I need more support equipment. So just add a few factories there. I still need a lot of artillery. I am currently reinforcing. So I need a stockpile a bit and then I can add an extra artillery battery to each division. But yeah, we need all that. So we've got a lot to do and we're up to January 1937 now. We also need to start deploying our troops on Poland's border. Hopefully we can get Czechoslovakia before that. Insufficient resources. Yeah, I know. I don't want to trade away my factories. I need my factories. I've almost got 30 factories working, which is great. Okay, Army Innovations is going. What else do we need to look at? Probably not a lot. So. When we go to war at the 1st of September in 39, we're not gonna be prepared, really, which is kind of the idea. The Germans weren't prepared. They could have, they easily beat Poland, yes. They also had Russia come in from the west, the east, I'm sorry. And no one ever really talked about that, but Russia got half of Poland. So we can defeat Poland, no worries. The thing is, if France had a really counter attack, counter attacked and invaded Germany properly, Germany didn't have the troops to stop them. It's just that Pol uh, France just didn't want war, which is what really cost them. Anyway, what else can we do? Let's stop doing some of this industrial stuff for a minute. Let's improve our troops. We're going to do support weapons one. And then up here, uh, what else have we got? All right, we're still too far ahead of time really to do any of our sort of planes. I could do some doctrines but I might just try and improve my artillery to start with. So we'll do all that. These guys are getting their equipment and organization back. They're a bit low on equipment still. It's gonna take a little while to catch up on that. They're at 71% biting strength. So we really need to catch up on equipment. Um, at the moment, the factories are going into support equipment and some more are going into tanks because I'm still low on tanks. All right, I'm um, just gonna keep building ships. They don't really cost you anything. They can just sit there and do nothing for now until we need them later on. Uh, yeah, it's, need factories and I need supply. All right. Now, what else do we need to do? Promets. I think we're good at the moment. How long have we been going for? We've we been going for 10 minutes? Fucking hell, that was quick. I shouldn't swear as much. I think there's something in YouTube's new policy that you're not meant to swear on anymore. They get really upset about it, apparently. Whatever. All right, we can deploy another 10 troops. So do that. Again, they're not trained, but that's okay. These guys we're going to send to... Uh, we'll put them on the border here. On the... What is this? Uh, Belgium? And Luxembourg, I have to deploy troops on their border as well, which is kind of annoying. Now, I was going to try a new thing as well. 
we're going to attack, but we're going to have very, like, a lot of different army groups when we attack. So we don't do river crossings and things like that. We'll flank around the rivers. But the thing is, when we do that, we're going to have all these army groups of about 20 divisions. Now, if they push through, because you only have 20 divisions holding a couple of tiles, they might be able to break through. So what I was thinking of doing was having one stack of, say, 40 cover the entire border as well as having all those little divisions and then if they try and break through they should send the 40 stack should send troops to reinforce that area so that could work it might not but it could work that's my new plan okay we can try and get austria good let's grab that that should happen world tensions at one percent so we should get that no worries and i need to color code these people all right let's make you uh, I'm actually going to make you green because you're in the north. So I'll make you bright green. And then uh, this division in the middle, I'm going to make dark green. And then this division in the south on the Maginot line, we're going to make red. And I'll save purple for something else. So we'll make them bright red. There we go. Uh, I probably should do bright red at Luxembourg and dark red there, but that'll work itself out. We're down to under a million manpower. So we're keeping on that. I need 7,000 supply now. Oh my god. It's because we're Russian troops out. We've got 27 army experience. That's good. And we're going to get some territory here. We should get some manpower as well as some army divisions. The divisions I'll get, I'll probably just disband just to get their equipment and manpower back. And then I can redeploy my own troops. I also need to deploy some troops up here in whatever this region's called. What is this region called? Uh, God, I don't know how to pronounce German words. Whatever that is. All right, well, it's still on four speed. We're trying to get through this quickly. We can deploy these guys early. So, we'll just have a look. We've got about 550,000 troops, or manpower. To get the Sudeten land, I need 750,000. And each time I deploy those 10 divisions, that's 90,000 troops. Or 90,000 manpower. Because there's 9 regiments in each one and we're doing 10 at a time. So. If we do that, that's probably going to... We just got over 550, so I'm not really sure how high we went over. It means we need to do this probably twice more. Hopefully. So, deploy them. And we're going to throw these guys over to Poland. And then we'll just make a sort of line like so. So I'm probably going to have three army groups on this border of about 20,000 or 20, yeah, 20 divisions. Uh, one up there should be able to hold that. I'm not really going to push too far from the north. And then I have my panzers as well. I don't think I'm going to need a massive, the 40,000 troops on this one as well. I don't think I need all those extra troops. So I probably won't, won't be able to get that many anyway. All right, research is back up. Let's go with extra resources. An extra 10% for our resources because we're probably going to need that. How are we going? We need 14 oil still. I'm trading for tungsten, so I've got a surplus of that. And I need some rubber. How are we going with our factories? All right. So the military factories are done. We're still doing civilian. And the synthetic refinery is going. After that, we definitely need some more military factories. So I'm going to throw seven here. That should be fine. I should spread them out and put civilian factories and military factories and actually... I should, but it's easier just to do this. Okay, this is back up. So we're going to do uh, industrial... Which was the better one to do? Industrial research time, industrial research time, or electronics research time. I think industrial was the one to do. Almost at 30 army experience. And I'll just slot down for a sec. The Hindenburg was destroyed this time. And we got Austria. Awesome. So those divisions, I just want their equipment. So I'm just going to disband them. Thank you. All right, tech is back up again. And we could try and do Dangzi or war with Poland. Um, that is a good way to kick off the war. But let's not do that yet. Let's do... We don't have enough manpower. We don't want to do the anti-Soviet pact. Let's do the treaty with the USSR. Because that's kind of what we're supposed to do. In a way. Let's 
do that. Let's crank the speed back up. How am I, where are my panzers? And I've got a free military factory. So let's do another five factories. Oh, cause I got them from Austria. So let's throw another five factories into infantry equipment. And cause I just disbanded all those troops. I actually got 5,000 basic infantry equipment as well. Going to put another two into support equipment. Then going to throw five into that. I still need more panzers. All right. How are you are we looking with these? All right, we're still getting there slowly. All right, I'm going to deploy these guys and then put these guys on low priority so that they reinforce those regiments or divisions first. I've got six. Now, six isn't amazing, but it'll be enough to break through in, if we need to. I mean, it's going to be easy, but what we probably want to do is just use the panzers to push straight for Warsaw. I also need to get a second city. Actually, I need to get three. I need to get Warsaw. I need to get this city, uh, Dangzi. I need to get that as well, which is a coastal city. And I need to get Krakow. If I capture those three, Poland capitulates. Now, I also got some extra manpower from that, which is great. Let's crank it back up to four speed. How are you guys going with your training? All right, you're all trained, so stop training. And let's train these 10 divisions here, as well as these 10 divisions over here. Panzers, oh God, I need to train you as well. I don't really want to waste the tanks. So I'm not going to waste my tanks. I'll just let them go. They can be inexperienced. All right, once all that's done, we're gonna do another synthetic refinery. And if we get Czechoslovakia, we get some extra manpower as well. All right. Well, what are we at, bro? June 1937. It's only, it hasn't even been a full year in the game yet, has it? it takes about, I think it takes about 20 minutes on four speed to do a year. Oh, well. it is what it is. Um, yeah, so we've got enough, actually, we've got enough oil now to do the Panzers. We're just not doing the planes or the motorized. How are we looking for our Air Force? All right, we have 300 fighters, of which 16 are 109s. Oh, it's embarrassing. Um, that should be enough to deal with Poland, though. They're not going to have much of an Air Force. We've got 100 Stukas and about 500 tactical bombers, which is good. Got a deficit of a, over 1,000 tanks is not good all right let's do infantry equipment there and the artillery is done so let's have a look what do we what else do we need probably might should do this to improve our production all right we have some more infantry that we can deploy i need to color code these guys as well let's put these guys here Probably should have used the river as the how would I do this because I don't want to push these guys across the river and if they're so yeah let's change the front line a little bit put them there and then we'll just extend the front line to about there and then they can just capture that little bit of area in the south here we'll push across and get crack of I don't need to go further down if I have Czechoslovakia I'll have to deploy in the south as well and up here I just need to get Dangzi so now these guys, you're going to have a much longer front line, but we still need to reinforce with extra divisions as well. Okay, um, I Amelia Earhart did something. I didn't see if she lived or died. All right, back at the four speed. Right, we have a deficit of about 5,000 or so weapons. I've got oil now, apparently. I don't know where this oil... Oh, this must have finished. It did finish. This synthetic refinery is done, and we have... 38 factories, which is great. Now, what else can we build? We can do a theorist. No, no. Can improve my... Actually, probably should do this one. Small arms research time. Do that. That'll help our research. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. Treaty with the USSR is done. And this gives us a research boost for our tech, for our armor, which is good. It's going to help us get panzers. So we can get Panzer 3s really soon. I don't really need them just yet though. 
probably will st- research that at the start of 30, 1938 because Germany didn't have a lot of Panzer threes at the start. All right, and let's do, let's keep improving our production because production is everything. Okay, we can demand the Sudeten land. Let's do that. And I need more infantry equipment. Oh, well, we're actually doing pretty well. We're catching up very quickly. Any more? I need everything. It's just, it never ends. You always need something. I'm not even probably building these ships because I don't have the resources. So we're going to focus more on our vehicles at the moment than our air force. Our air force will be okay. Well, saying that, the allies are going to jump in and start bombing us. So I probably need more fighters, but we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Even if I just focus on fighters and don't focus on bombers as much. I mean, that, that one factory would help. So get rid of the bombers and we'll just add it to the fighters or add it to something else. It'll come down eventually and we'll start doing that. Okay, uh, what else we got? So, how's the training going? You're both training. An extra 10 divisions there. Probably can deploy more units. Yep, go. And we'll put these guys in the south. You sh probably should do... I should probably draw orders. Oh, I've got a long time before I need to draw the orders. But even if you're not going to attack, you're always better to have orders drawn up. Just it helps with their deployment and organization, etc, etc. All right, so let's do my stupid color coding system for these guys. We'll do bright orange, uh, dark orange, it's like brown. And in the south here, we'll do bright pink, purple, whatever. All right, not the best system, but it does work. And you need to be armor so you can be yellow. Good. Now, um, why do you have... You've got all the infantry equipment you need. We don't have any tanks, obviously. Alright. We really need to catch up on tanks. I wonder how many tanks they had at the start of the war. No, they had a lot of Panzer twos and 1s. Which Panzer 1s were just a scout. And we also got these divisions templates. So, apparently I have a mountain division somewhere because... Oh, wait, what? Why do I have this? Why can't I delete that template? Is there a mountain division standing somewhere I can't see? I know, I've got five. Where, why can I not delete that template? There's only five there. I don't know, anyway. um. Look, I can just leave those templates. It annoys me, but I'll leave them. Deploy extra manpower. Oh, these guys weren't quite ready. Deploy, deploy. Come on, hurry up. Deploy. There we go. Another 10. We're going to throw them in the north here. And they can train as well. With You guys are nearly trained. So we've got plenty of manpower. Got about 40 army experience. That's going to be good. So we can start adding artillery batteries. Uh, you're now fully trained. So you can stop exercising. Panzers. How are you going for equipment? You're at 90% fighting strength. You still need a lot of Panzer twos. Okay. How are you going for time? Oh shit, we're 25 minutes. Well, um, not a very exciting episode. But that's kind of what this is. We're still preparing. So... Yeah, the plan is we're going to hit Poland and just hold France and everyone back. Once we've Poland's out of the picture, then we can redeploy our troops and stuff. We should be able to get Italy as an ally by then and probably going to move into sort of with all these troops that invaded Poland, probably going to move into Romania. I want to attack Hungary. Uh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Japan declared war on China. Munich Agreement. We got the Sudeten land. Great. So that's some probably an extra factory. Yeah, two extra factories, military factories, two civilian factories from that. And maybe a little bit of manpower. Next, we're going to go with the first uh, Vienna award and then the fate of Czechoslovakia is after that. All right. 
and we're about September 1937. So that's probably it for today, guys. As always, any tips and suggestions, let me know. And we're just going to continue. Yeah, we really want to take out Romania because I really want that oil. So we'll move down, take out Romania. We may have to invade Yugoslavia and Bulga uh, Bulgaria should join us. But we'll just see what happens. Basically, we're going to take over everything here and push through. Because, I mean, even though Hungary was in the war and Italy was in the war, I, they're AI, so they're going to make mistakes where I'd rather control them. Italy, probably I can't control, but I can take out Hungary. And then they'll do as they're told, basically. Anyway, that's it for today. As always, guys, thank you for watching. World Tensions at 90%, by the way. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.